What are you doing here? I took a shortcut through the woods. Is something wrong? No, everything's fine. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, I don't, don't, you don't need to worry about me, son. Are you sure? Because whatever's on that piece of paper, it looked like it had you worried. Mom does not have a clue that you're here. She would have told me not to come. I, I just don't want to fight with her. I miss you. I bet you miss me too. I miss you a great deal. I, yeah, I'm going to get in trouble here. I know I am. Tell me what's going on with your life. It's turning out to be a pretty good summer. Yeah? Get to see Michael twice a week when he comes over for well, dinner. I'm glad he gets to see you because he, he needs his family. And you got Jason out so soon. Nobody expected that. Is prison as awful as everyone says? Hey, says? hey, I don't want you thinking about prison because you're never going to see prison. You're going to go to, you know, you're going to go to college, you're going to have a career, and you're going to make your family very proud. You understand me? So let's get on to a, 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 a nicer subject. How are you spending your summer? I started sailing camp. I learned how to bring the boat about. That means I'm in charge. Did Jax teach you that? Mm hmm So uh, you, you ready to handle the uh, boat at the island? I don't think we'll be going this year. Well, why would you say that? Look, I mean, Jax is teaching you how to sail and the whole thing, right? Yeah, we're a pretty good team. That's a good thing. Yeah, you don't have to pretend, Dad. <laughs> what do you mean? Pretty soon my adoption will be official. Michael's not allowed to see you. And Christina wants nothing to do with you. No offense. I just I figured you might be lonely. Well, I don't, I don't like it, but what, what matters is you guys. I just thought you should know, even though I don't get it, see you. I still love you very much. Once Michael's parole is done, he'll be allowed to see me, and I hope you will be too, and everything will be great. Your mom wants Jax to adopt you, I think, because she's scared. But now that Jason's out of prison, things are going to calm down. Maybe she'll just forget about this whole adoption business, you know? And... You know why you're not supposed to be here, right? Sorry, Mom. I, I thought I'd get home before you knew I was gone. Which means you'd be sneaking around behind my back. I need to talk to your father in private, okay? I, I'd rather say you guys won't fight if I'm in the room. Polly, could you could you drive my son home? Yes, sir. I, it, it was me. I came over. Dad didn't ask me or anything. Hey, don't worry about that, okay? Just remember what I told you. All right, go ahead, go. What is Morgan supposed to remember? I told him that I. That, you're keeping him away from me because I think you're scared. But now that Jason and Michael are free, things, you know, should calm down. You should have sent him home yeah. the second he showed I up know, at your I door. Sh I know, I know, and but he was here a minute. I didn't want to just send him away. But that's not fair, Sonny. It makes it harder on Morgan when he sees you. Do you understand that? First of all, I didn't ask Morgan to come over here. I... Look, the fact that Jason and Michael are free, we should just be happy right now. Michael is anything but free. His time in Pentonville gives him nightmares, Sonny. He's haunted. Do you not see he's not the boy he used to be? So don't tell yourself everything's over, and don't tell yourself that everything's going to go back to normal, because it won't. Some damage is permanent. I love our kids, Carly, and I'm very much committed to giving them a good life as much as you are. Actions speak louder than words. I, I, look, I know I've said it before, but I'm taking steps to ensure that there's peace, enough to look you in the eye and tell you. Kids are safe with me. I tell you I'm going to make peace with my enemies for the sake of our children. Isn't that what you want? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that peace is going to last until someone is shot run down or, I don't know, betrays you. And then you're going to say that you can't let it go and you're going to have to retaliate and this whole cycle starts all over again, I don't disagree Sonny. with you, but I've done everything in my power to run my business so that the people who I care about don't get touched by it. I know. And I don't doubt your intentions, but the results are still the same. 
I got Jason released today. I'm sure that's going to make you very happy. Yes, that makes me very glad. Very glad, that's it? Do I have to remind you the reason why Jason had to have himself sent to prison? Or how about the pain that I always see in my son's eyes? Or how he refuses to talk about what went on in that hellhole? What do you want from me? I really hope that you can make peace, because I think it'll be better for everyone. Mostly you. Oh. Hi. I'm sorry I surprised you. No, I'm fine. Um, you look upset. What's going on? No, I'm not upset. I'm not upset because if I'm upset, that means that I'm ashamed. And if I'm ashamed, I'm not ashamed because I don't regret anything. You just like your mo your mother can go on for ten minutes about a broken heart. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. I'm sorry. No, I just, no, I shouldn't no. Be here. Listen it's... to me. You're, I've been friends with your family most of my life. If something's bothering you, if you're upset about something, maybe I can help. Yeah, I mean, um, you're gonna hear it anyway, so. So I'm sure it's gonna sound more like I was an evil stunt, but I promise that's not how it happened. How what happened? Lulu walked in on me with Dante. Okay, so we were at Jake's. I asked mm -hmm. him to meet me there, and we were having a great time, like we always do. And right. then one beer led to another, and we ended up at his place. But it's not like they're engaged. I mean, they don't even live together. Well, you never know what goes on in other people's relationships and what kind of agreements they might have. Agreement. <laughs> yeah, well, judging by her reaction, I don't think it's an open relationship. Dante's a big boy. He knows what he's doing. Thank you so much for saying that. She's acting like I should have this big scarlet A on my chest and... Look, I'm not, I'm not one to make judgments. Lulu's father was an old friend of mine. I like you very much. But if circumstances were to put you with my son, and that's what Dante wants, so be it. Hey, you heard about Johnny Zakar? Tell me he's dead. He was pushed out of a line of fire. Lopez and man got a bunch of shots off. But that's very was disappointing. The guy who saved Johnny was Michael. My What's he doing he, anywhere he near was, John? He was trying to broker a truce. I don't want Michael anywhere near this. His parole officer is going to find out and have a field day sent him right back to Pentonville. Okay, first of all, the cops don't know that Michael was involved. Dante showed up to the scene first. He, and his brother covered for yeah, him, Yeah, right? Lucky did, and Johnny. Don't defend Johnny. I'm, I'm just telling you what happened. I just told Carly that I, I was going to do what I can to make things safe for the kids so we'd have peace. I just don't know how much it's going to cost. Had one too many close calls. I can't risk another one. So what do you want me to do? Make that truce that uh, Michael wanted to arrange. You want me to talk to Johnny? No, 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 no. This is this has got to come from a third party. I'm gonna make some calls. Assuming Johnny has any brains, he'll negotiate. Maybe. There can be some peace after all. How was the shoot? <clears throat> it was, uh, you know, good. You know, I'm never a good judge. Uh, the Cartulo people seemed really happy. Good. They need to be. They're the ones paying the bills. Coffee? Yes. Straight, please. You try dealing with you unassisted. Have you heard anything about my trip? We're still working on the dates. Oh, gosh. Late night? Murphy asked me to marry him. Hey. Robin? Hi. Hi. What's up? Oh, I just got back from uh, New York. Yeah. Seeing my mom. How is she? She's great. She's crazy as ever, traveling the world. She was so excited to see Emma. 
I just wish I could see her more often. But, you know, my mom will probably be off on her adventures till she's 90, so. Well, I gotta tell you, going away for the weekend does you good because you, you look great. <laughs> I'm serious. You. Thank you. <laughs> I just wish Patrick could have come. So, yeah, I just was back in town and catching up on things and my emails. So I was just wondering, were you able to get in touch with Brenda? <laughs>